live in a house. You live in a house. There were more people all the time. They've got to live in houses. We've got to build houses. There's no ambiguity about that whatsoever. Yep. It's a question of where we put them and how we put them there. What, yep. what have you done differently here? I think the situation here, it was master planned at a very early stage. Um, the land was assembled. It was a site of over 1,200 acres. And we looked at delivering strategic open space from day one. So the designs were considered that half of the land was going to be put aside for strategic open space. 50%? 50%. Non-housing, but open yep. space for people who live there to use it. And that doesn't take into account gardens, boundaries. So the main strategic and local open space was 50% of the site. OK. And this site beforehand was? Very intensively managed agricultural arable land. Right. So it was probably an agro-desert. There wasn't that much living here. Yeah, the, we, obviously sur a lot of survey work was done prior to the development going ahead, as you expect through the planning process. But certainly, looking at the evidence now, there's absolutely huge net gains for biodiversity. Net gains. Yeah. Tell me a bit about the, the habitat that we've got behind us here. There's reed mace in here. Yeah. We've got these paths that run through it. Lots of mature trees, some of which were obviously here, yeah. but there's been plenty of planting going on. Yeah, I mean, the, the, one of the main things about Newcastle Great Park, it also delivers a sustainable drainage system. So there's, there's a series of wetlands that all interconnect. That helps deliver flood defences for the River Ousburn, which was a, a, a threat of flooding for Newcastle City Centre. So there's a range of habitats and mosaics of habitats all the way through the park. To date, I think it's around about 30,000 trees we've planted. And I think this year, before the end of the year, we're we'll to plant another 20,000, and the planting will on go beyond that. Um, but it's a full range of habitats, and we've got a biodiversity action plan that we monitor every year. So we've got a, a proven track record of what was here before, in terms of agriculture, what's been delivered. And then that is a live document, so if we feel that we can deliver something else in the same space, it can be amended and evolved as we move forward, and it's monitored every year.